All right, we are going to take a quick look at Salada here. So the big question is, where is Salada headed to? Uh, here on the daily chart, you can see we've been going sideways here for a while now. And going from this low here to the high, you can see we're bouncing along the 382 at about 90 bucks, And we're getting stuck at about 102 um, so either of these break, it's going to tell you which way this thing's going more likely than not. So where we are right now is at 95.95. And if this thing continues to push up, then once you break over 102 with a daily close, that is a six and a half or seven and a half percent move rather, then that's probably telling you that this thing's about to shoot back up to the high here at that macro 786 at about 127. And this thing's going to spike up about 33, 34%. And I would imagine if that is the case, it's probably going to break through the 786 unless we double top here. Which, if that's the case, then uh, we got a bigger problem on our hand here for Solana. But as of right now, like I said, it's just going sideways. It's not really uh, deciding what it wants to do here yet. It's consolidating. I would imagine it's just uh, getting accumulated here. Uh, if this thing is going to break down and come down to the $70 range, which from the low here to the high, you can see this does take you down to our 618 and the much larger 618 at 70. So 70 to $72 is still on my radar at the moment for Solana. So if we end up falling lower than this 382 at about 89.90 bucks for a 7% drop, you can see we do have the 0.5 at 80 for almost a 17% drop. And then we have that 618 uh, double Fibonacci down here at the $70 range. So there is still a chance that Solana drops back down about 25, 26% in my opinion. So just keep an eye on those prices. If we zoom back out to the three day chart where we've been watching this um, on this much larger Fibonacci, uh, we smacked right into that 786 at 127. We are pulling back at the moment, but overall, uh, we're curling up from the bottom here. We can see that with the stock RSI. And we have yet to have the blue cross below the yellow. So once the blue cross is below the yellow, that's going to tell you this thing is in store for a much deeper uh, pullback here. But as of right now, it's still moving up. It's still grinding higher, higher highs, higher lows. And it's just going sideways at the moment, sitting on that support we just showed you on that smaller time frame. So uh, it's either going to 70 or it's going back to 127, and it's going to try to break out here. So that's really all I got on Solana. Um, we'll just cover it again in the next couple of days. Uh, looking over at the Heikinashi candles on the three-day, you can see how indecisive this is, all red with shadows. So it's not really trending down a lot. It's just kind of going sideways. So yeah, um, I would say it looks good. It is holding support here. So you can see the clear line of support that it has at that level. So as long as you stay where you are, you don't fall any lower than 90, I would say this thing's gearing up to go, in my opinion. So the best thing you could do is watch these support levels that we spoke of, and uh, it'll tell you which, they, which way this thing's headed to. So we will leave it at that on Solana, not financial advice, and we will see you in the next one. Peace out.